Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be walking you through the third of four cams that we're creating for activity 4.5, which is cams in motion. We've already created the eccentric cam and the pair cam. You'll notice I'm in a new, um, well actually I've, I've started a new part already, so I probably should get rid of that, okay? But I'm inside the same folder with the eccentric and the pair cam. I'm creating a new sketch. This time we're going to work on the hex cam. This is going to be a short video because it's pretty nice. All we have here, we have the nominal diameter of the cam, which is D. We have a distance of one half of the diameter from the center point out to either of the vertexes right here, vertices, okay? We have the hole that needs to be 3 16 of an inch in diameter. We have 3 16 of an inch thick material, just like last time, okay? So let's go through and let's start working. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to modify and change parameters. I need to come up here. I need to click, type in DIA for the nominal diameter. Again, as the last two videos, we're going to use one inch just to have a number to throw out there. And we're going to name it the nominal diameter in the comment box. We're going to click OK. Now we're going to come up here again. And we're going to choose then, um, <clears throat> we'll, we'll call this a radius, uh, let's call it, uh, let's call it hex, hexagon. So hex radius. How about that? Okay, hex radius. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have one half times DIA is going to be the dimension for this. And this is going to be the distance from the center to vertex of the hex, okay? So you can see that again. If you want to pause, you can see it right there, what I typed in. And really what I'm trying to say there is I'm just trying to give a description that I know I'm going to recognize. So whenever I come back, I can say, oh, how far is it from the center out to one of the vertexes, vertices here? And so I'm calling that like the radius of the hex right there. Okay, so that's where I got the one half D from. Okay, we have three sixteenths of an inch for the hole and three sixteenths of an inch for the thickness. So hole, three sixteenths, hole for axle. These are just like the last two videos. And thick is going to be three sixteenths of an inch as well. And it's cam thickness. That's all we need. So whenever your table looks like that, you can unpause your video and you can move forward. Click OK. Now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to sketch. I'm going to use the polygon tool. And in this case, you can see I got three different options. The one that we want here is inscribed. Inscribed, if you look closely at the picture, looks like it has a circle. And the points of the polygon on the inside touch the circle. It's inside. Inscribed means inside the circle. Okay. So I'm going to click here. It wants to know what plane. So I'm going to choose the same plane that I've chosen for the first two. I'm going to click on the center point and I'm going to drag outward. And notice here that it creates then a circle with a polygon touching it. And it wants to know what's the radius of the circle, right? And so that's why we did hex radius to begin with. Click OK. It says six for how many points that I want. If I wanted a pentagon, I would type the number five. If I wanted an octagon, it would be eight, right? You see what's happening there? Okay, if I wanted a triangle, I could do three. But I want six because it's a hexagon, okay? Hit enter, and we're ready to go, okay? Um, I am going to make a quick change here. Not necessary, necessarily, but I'm going to come over here and, uh, no, actually, I'm not going to do that, okay? This thing can, can rotate around, and that's just fine, but it is locked in size-wise, you'll notice, okay? So I'm just going to line it up for now so it's like, there we go, kind of flat, right? I do need to click C for circle. Let me type in hole, the diameter of it, just like the last two videos. And now we have something ready to extrude. Stop my sketch. I'm going to go to a nice isometric view here. I'm going to hit E for extrude. There's my profile. Drag it backwards. Negative. Thick. Hit enter. And we're done. I'm going to hit A for appearance. We had green and red are already taken. So let's go blue. That looks great. Blue will be our hex cam. Quick save. Name it. Hexagon cam, and you're ready to go. Congratulations, the third cam is now done. 